Uh, full name's Gary Blem. B-L-E-M, yeah? Like problem. Yeah, head mechanic of Team Sky. Yeah, I'm on Twitter and Facebook. I think it's under King Blem. I don't know if it's my Twitter or my Facebook is King Blem. My wife handles all that stuff for me. Yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I started uh, riding when I was 13. I'm now 25 years old. Eh? No, I'm joking. Now I started when I was 13 and um, I you know, started as a juvenile and went up the ranks as a junior and under 23 and elite. Uh, and the reason why I stopped was because there was an era when uh, Peace Force had just closed down, the team had just shut down and they were battling to find sponsorship in South Africa. So there was no real future for us. Robbie Hunter happened to make a breakthrough in Europe, um, I think joining the Lamprey team back in those days, uh, or oh, sorry, Mapa. And um, yeah, but there was nothing really in South Africa, there was no f real future for us. Yeah, so I, that's when I stopped and I actually uh, opened a bike shop in South Africa. And then things didn't work out in the bike shop and uh, eventually I, I ended up joining Bruce Reinecke Cycles in South Africa. And um, I got trained up by a really brilliant black mechanic there called Matthews. And uh, fantastic guy, he could fix anything. I mean, this guy, you could bring him a derailleur in six different pieces and he'll use 10 different derailers that are all smashed and he'll build up one derailleur for you. And um, so this guy actually taught me all the skills I have today. He really taught me how to work on a bike and, and um, the, the beauty of us, that's where I got my basics, was from him. And uh, I heard Barla World was then looking for a mechanic, Team Barla World. And uh, I managed to get a job through John Robertson on Team Barla World, joined them. And that's when I went to Europe and I started working internationally. The beauty about Barlowold was there was an Italian mechanic that they hired. He just came fresh from Faso Bortola. He was the head mechanic there. And that was one of the top teams at that stage. And uh, he trained me up uh, to be one of the top mechanics in the world um, as a team mechanic. So I had the, the beauty about a, the, being a mechanic in South Africa as a shop mechanic, learning the basics, bicycle basics. But then to be a team mechanic is a whole different skill set uh, on its own. So he taught me how to be a team mechanic. Really hard guy. Um, not many people survive with him, so basically I think, you know, if you can survive three months with him, then you can, then you'll survive. So I stuck it out with him for three years and um, uh, I left Barlowell, just the reason being is I came out for eight days and seven months. I was on the road the rest of the time and I had a young family in South Africa. So I left Barlowell, joined MTN, it was then known as MTN Energade uh, with Douglas Ryder and uh, I spent two seasons with them. Then uh, I was headhunted by HTC, uh, then known as HTC High Road, uh, because I knew I was trained up by one of the top mechanics in the world. So they heard I was in a small African team and I got an email from them saying, do you want to join the number one team in the world? And that's how I actually ended up at HTC. And shortly after joining them, I got an offer from, uh, well, Mark Cavendish took a liking to me and I became his mechanic shortly after. Yeah, so, and then the HTC um, ran out of sponsorship and uh, Kev took me across to, to Sky and I was a clause in his contract and that's how I ended up at Sky and I've been there now, it's my fourth season with them. Through me, after Kev left, Sky through me asked me to be his mechanic and I've been his mechanic now for the past three years. And um, yeah, I've re-signed again now with Sky next year and yeah, it's, it's been great. Huh? If you go to a bike shop, you can only see what's there. Yeah, you get to see everything in the bike shops all under, under the tent here. So, no, I think it's fantastic. Eh? And I'm really pr privileged to be here. I, I think it's a great event. I remember when Bradley Wiggins won the tour. It, it was a mission for me to get his bike down to 6.8 kilograms to the legal weight because his bike was too heavy. Just before that, I was sitting in the car thinking, should I ask this guy for an increase, you know? And then I was thinking, I should, I should ask this guy if I can keep my job. So, yeah, it's a little bit stressful there.